Welcome, welcome to a special coffee with yours truly, Aiden H. Dragon who's being reborn is yours truly. Adrian Hanna Dragon. Androgynous pansexual. Founder of the Dancing Goddess. And the Dragon Empire, of which you can see the emblem of the Red Dragon and the Dancing Goddess who dances with her brother the sun to make it and produce all fruits, vegetables and legumes. Even this black coffee bean which was created, made and produced by that dance. The goddess with her brother the sun and harvested by one of my brothers and sisters somewhere in Latin America, Africa or Asia. And which I'm grateful that I can drink. Meditate and do this coffee with yours to later on Hana Dragon. It's Friday before the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire and the Phoenix People's Party Sabbath, which begins at midnight on Friday. The last 37 hours, 49 minutes, and 42 seconds. Almost 38, almost 38, almost 38 hours Sabbath from Friday, midnight till Sunday in the 3 p.m. EST. I'm gonna go put this back. Keep it hot. Be back in three, two, one. Your story topic of discussion today. First, I wanted to put it on record as have been, of course, documented my fitness journey in the past years on YouTube, Facebook, having lost more than 72 pounds to. Up to this moment in time, and of course, working out, training, exercising has been, is, and will continue to be medicine and therapy for yours truly. Cheers. I want to say this went on a, did the 200th session of my General War Integrated Total Body Training System. Officially, those seven words General War Integrated Total Body Training System, aka the 300 workout. And after the workout, you know, early in the morning today, 8, 8 a.m. in the morning and took a shower, had a coffee, the first coffee, this is the second, and um, went with my friend, oftentimes teacher, the one I love and call sister, who to that trinity of being a sister, friend, and teacher to yours truly, that's the fourth dimension of being the one and only, for the moment, one and only financial sponsor, providing filters for me to drink cleaner, pure, healthier water, so I went on a march, shopping march, I was looking for steel toe boots as my old steel toe boots by marching thousands of miles hundreds and who knows thousands of miles in this hawk island formerly known as montreal and those steel toe boots were ripped on the side and quite used and i did i used them of course last year when i was employed a few weeks to work in steel a temporary essential worker in steel and i've used them quite a lot they were second hand today bought second hand which i gotta try for a long march to see if they're Adequate if not, I'm gonna have to change them in the next seven days. I got seven days, but get got them at a great great deal. I also bought this book about birds. It's in French and it's actually an agenda and it's about birds, but I bought it because I was interested in the birds and because I got a good bargain on it and it was new and it was nothing written in the agenda as you can see there July. For example, on the date of July, uh, July 24th, July 24th, or November 6th, or December 3rd, or whatever, there's nothing written on it. I checked and I said, and I was reading about the birds, so the birds and the description of the birds in French, of which, of course, I'm fluently, perfectly, I love the French language here in Hawk Island, Montreal, perfectly bilingual. And so I was really curious, and I got it at a good deal, and it was in very mint condition. And, uh, as I purchased it, see, see. And put it there. And I purchased also a CD at a very discount. I remember something about it, but I. I'm gonna do a little bit of dance for world peace. Tomorrow, maybe on these boots, which I'm excited about, you know, very excited about these boots. And to that trinity of these boots, music to dance on these steel toe boots, and 
to write and read about birds which were chirping and singing this morning when I woke up early beautiful songs birds holy sacred and divine I feel or did I mention that this mug for two dollars says coffee coffee the gasoline of life I would say yes coffee is the gasoline of life and I write the colors of course red is my favorite color and is the de facto color of the dancing of the dragon empire and the dragon army and of course green is the true color of the dancing goddess or one empire the dancing goddess and the dragon empire and one empire and the sun and the stars on earth so i like it it's long elongated two dollars second hand store and uh, i have to say this shirt too i bought it a second hand a while ago in this pants too last year this Yours truly, of course, paradoxically, is still living in the worst financial crisis of my life and parallelly getting in the fittest, strongest, most athletic condition of my adult life. Yours truly, I'd crossed the great desert, I'd struggled XYZ with so many things in, as a youth, as an adolescent, as a millennial growing up. Had good times, had bad times, had suicidal, depressed, you know, struggling and working out, training, exercising has been his and will be therapy in yours truly for me dad and of course a lots of love so to all my allies and armies bless you in my name being reborn born adrian h dragon my name and you'll be able to do millions of push-ups millions of squats millions of hawks millions of dancing moves In the marching steps, millions of loves. Today, topic of discussion continuing the I declare revolution for world peace, international security, and justice, global freedom, and universal love via the mission, vision, of philosophy of the dancing goddess and the dragon empire, who are one empire, and the sun and the stars on earth, and the phoenix people's party, the anti war, anti poverty, anti racism, pro love, universal revolutionary centrist party. Want to discuss the my theory, of course, my position as a universal revolutionary centrist. <sighs> if you don't mind, I'm gonna, I've had a record breaking day today, having completed the 200 session of my general war integrated body training system. AKA the 300 workout, which was created, made, and designed paradoxical in a parallel providential way to go hand in hand with a World War III scenario that resembles, in an eerie way, I might say, the COVID 19 health and financial crises. If you don't know, of course, that in October 2019, yours truly, Eden H. Dragon, world peace advocate, international student scholar of history, geopolitics, wars, and civilization, and independent security analyst and theorist was alarmed by what was transpiring in the world i thought that the we were on the path to world war three and taking into consideration events major geopolitical social and political events such as the u.s china trade war began by the trump administration imposing tariffs on hundreds of billions of tariffs on goods from china the deterioration of relations between china and canada there's the north the Sino North American crisis, relations crises, by, of course, the arrest of Meng Wanzhou, or aka Kathy Meng, chief financial officer of Huawei, and the daughter of the founder of Huawei, who had overtaken Apple and Samsung to become the biggest smartphone equipment telecommunications equipment maker. The arrest by the RCMP to honor an extradition treaty with the United States. Let it be understood that uh, as a universal spiritual teaching student, I only believe in reincarnation, was reincarnated many times, and actually was born in the USA twice in past lives 156 years ago down there than that way down south a hundred few hundred miles I actually served 156 years ago in the US Army and I'm asking Biden Kamala and all the my American brothers and sisters to immediately give yours truly US citizenship ASAP I mean, this will be posted tomorrow 10th of July by 3 p.m. when these words are heard my American brothers and sisters over here just to scream in the streets give dragon u.s citizenship give dragon u.s citizenship give dragon u.s citizenship anyways i love you all my allies armies canadian americans israelis 
Germans, we're Arabs, Africans, whoever wants to ally with me, are we only for world peace, international security and justice, global freedom and universal love. But anyways, so back in October 2019, as world peace advocate and independent student scholar of history, civilizations, wars and geopolitics and independent security analyst and theorist, world peace advocate, still am, advocating for world peace through my endeavors, artistic, athletic and activist. Of course, the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire are non-sectarian in all ways, financially, socially and spiritually, I believe in one human race, the human race. And of course, we need a non-sectarian way, establish world peace, international justice and freedom, global security and of course universal love. But in 2019, October, deterioration of relations between Canada and China, US and China, Western Chinese relations, which in the past days and weeks has even deteriorated further. Yesterday, with a 37 page report, would have not yet read coming out from the UK, strong, harsh words against China. I will not proclaim myself on such matters at this point in time. I will just say that I think that many in the West make the mistake of seeing China only through the one lens of a communist party state, which paradoxically, China is a one party state. It has maintained the communist party of China on one party state rule right however we fail to see China through a more complex way more diverse way you know, that China is not only a one party communist state but China is actually a civilization that has complex cultural religious spiritual architectural philosophical political financial social, agricultural, moral, traditions and norms, complex culture and is a civilization that is more than 5,000 years old, with, uh, very rich and diverse, complex spiritual, political, social, philosophical and financial, textual traditions. Now, many of us in the West have the mistake of seeing China through one lens of being a one-party communist state, only which, paradoxical way, China has and the Chinese Communist Party has been able to maintain a one-party rule and of course to transition and make reforms and to what the Chinese leadership has been called since 1984 the socialism with the Chinese characteristics generally meaning that the blending of socialism communism is embedded in the writings of Karl Marx Engels and other communist socialist thinkers and theorists but with Chinese characteristics, meaning embodying the Chinese civilization. So anyways, yours truly calling for the creation of the Global Central Bank by debt refusion, refusing all public and private debt, creating a Global Central Bank to issue a unit of exchange by biometrics, the hand, the eye and the voice are unique biometrics identifier to a Finance the two institutions of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Army, officially called the International Citizen Integrated Social Security Force, aka the Dragon Army, to secure the three elements of civilization food, housing, and transport by mobilizing 1% of NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization nations, meaning Canada, US, Germany, Italy, and the 30 member countries, which are comprised in the NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, as 30 member countries in North America, Canada, US and Europe calling on Israel to be the 31st immediately hopefully by this video will be posted Israel will be the 31st member of NATO uh, mobilizing the citizenry, creating the Dragon Army infusing, integrating all existing public and private security forces armed forces in order to secure those three elements in a non-sectarian way for all the allies, citizens, supporters, subjects of the Dancing Artists and the Dragon Empire Food, housing and transport for all. Once we have these three elements secured, food, housing and transport for all, we can encourage people to work out, to exercise, to do community work, to volunteer and socially reward and encourage such activities. And of course, maintain in the public. They have a public responsibility. Just today was out in the public and noticed a lot of people go in the store, go out. They don't wash their hands while going in or going out. Brothers and sisters, pandemic is not over. Don't take it relax. And we have a hygiene in the public domain of the dancing goddess and the dragon empire we're gonna have the rules of freedom of liberty encourage people to dance exercise work out and love each other but if a citizen subject or ally 
of the Empire, the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire wills to distance itself two meters from the others. That will has to be respected. If nobody wants to get close to another more than two meters to hug, I love to hug. Very physical to hug. Love to get dirty, I can get dirty, but gotta get back clean because if we stay dirty, filthy with germs, microbes, germs, microbes, bacteria, we get dirty, we get sick. Have no economy, no civilization without help. Right? So the dragon army also have to maintain the public hygiene and those who citizens, subjects, allies, who wills to take their two meters and stay two meters apart from others when they're going shopping on the streets, etc., etc., etc. That will have to be respected. I will have to be respected. We don't know people's hygienes differ. I encourage hygiene exercising. Mind, body, and spirit health. Body is a temple for purpose and pleasure. And of course, to can get dirty. We don't stay dirty. We can get dirty, but get back clean. Diseases, bacteria, germs. Disinfected. So again, in the past two weeks or so, three weeks since it has lagged, we have went from being in a red zone to a yellow to an orange to now green, with restrictions being eased. Unfortunately, I noticed a lot of my fellow brothers and sisters, citizens now washing when they go in a store, when they go in a bank, when they go in a grocery store, in a public building, and it's right there. It's not hard. Wash, rub, 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 soap, soap, disinfect and sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. The dragon army by securing food housing and transport while we have those three elements secured but the dragon army will be ready if covid mutates if for the next pandemic as humanity as a whole global civilization we have this public private partnership and ensure the laws of freedom and security securing freedom that's what the dancing artists and the dragon empire are all about but we gotta have least people that are secured in their housing and their food and then provide hygiene, clothing, etc. Those extras. But these three main ones. Food, housing and transport. And then of course the extras. Whatever needs hygiene, 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 disinfectant. Cleanliness in the public domain. This is my private room off some temple. If I want, I can shut this down and get undressed and scream my anger, resentments and fears and all those lines and tear my head off. And believe me, I suffered a great desert. I was suicidal, depressed. My own hidden fears, lusts, etc. The things we don't admit in our heart, part of our natures, individual natures. And we differ in natures and characters and individual. We have a collective well-being and now believe in one human race. We can attain, but we got to secure freedom. Drag an army to secure by securing those three elements. Food, housing and transport. We have a public-private partnership. And transport, of course, with regulations for people to go encourage to go work out, volunteer, learn the community work, exercise, help out in crises, etc., etc., go to school, learn, etc. And we have those three secured, we'll be ready for the next pandemic in humanity. And paradoxically, only since July 24, 2020, I've began advocating for the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Army and the creation of the Dragon Army. Because in 2019, I've started a new workout designed to go hand in hand with that World War III scenario which resembles COVID and I have proof, documented proof of it. The scenario was a World War III scenario and paradoxically is a world peace advocate but was alarmed by what was transpiring in the world, namely the US-China trade war, other historical events inspired my World War III scenario such as the Pearl Harbor. Now on COVID my trinity on COVID has not changed, will not change. First and foremost brothers and sisters I, be, I don't know what caused COVID. Second, I believe it was transmitted from snakes to human beings. Third, since I don't know for sure, my belief is not 100% confirmed or validated, I cannot rule out another possibility, X, Y, Z, being an experiment in a laboratory, an accident gone wrong, a bioweapon, another possibility. That's my trinity on COVID. To that trinity, the fourth dimension, to the trinity that I have of beliefs surrounding COVID-19 health and financial crises. First, I don't know what caused COVID. Second, I believe COVID-19 was transmitted from snakes to human beings. 
and third since i don't know for sure i cannot rule out another possibility that's my trinity don't know think it was snakes cannot rule out another possibility simply stated since i don't know for sure fourth dimension to that trinity who i do know for sure without an inch of a doubt for 100 percent is that 93 days before covid yours truly independent student scholar of history civilizations wars and geopolitics world peace advocate and independent security analyst and theorist right here in this room off some temple afterwards embarked on a fitness journey lost about 55 to about 60 pounds up to that moment in time october 2019 72 up to today had created made and designed this workout officially titled general war integrated total body training system aka the 300 war workout design made and created to go hand in hand with a world war three scenario requires no equipment easy to do an integrated scenario in the workout 93 days later after the first session which was held on october 17 2019 the first session put under my other youtube channel i got three youtube channels now you know my alias aliases and my secrets i've been quite open i'm quite open i i'm not perfect i i lust i have uh, issues sometimes i get moody angry upset i got theories propositions i crossed the great desert i i did a lot of things i'm not proud of xyz everybody deserves second third chances this is perhaps mine and yours and ours together for world peace international security and justice global freedom and universal love but we got to secure freedom otherwise it's blah 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 and the public and the private partnership in harm and equilibrium and balance not fascism not communism universal revolutionary centrism but the dancing goddess and the dragon empire and the phoenix people's party not only but all of us together everybody playing the part the poor to the rich being small black and white man and woman androgynous like me lgbtq rainbow like me or ally So I created that workout, created the general war integrated total body training system, fused, it goes symbiotic with the scenario, which is ongoing parallel because initially I had set up to do 300 sessions. I completed my 200 session today, which is two thirds, 66.6%, .6%, right? Two thirds is divided in percentages, it's six, because one third is 33.3, .3 and this, because it's 0. 0.00001, like, right? It's, the fractions it's to get to 100 one third is 3.33.33333 and two thirds is 66.6 so two thirds 200 and then only when you get the fractions three on three is one one whole which is 100 percent right so divided by fractions it's two thirds or 66.6666666 percent 100 more to go effective efficient simple to work out today earlier this morning finish my 200 session 50 in a row right personal fitness records today march with my friend oftentimes teacher on 11 calls sister as a fourth dimension to that trinity of sister friend teacher being my one and only financial sponsor for the moment we marched more than got it. i put the timer when we left although we stopped for a hamburger a good hamburger my dad two two small hamburgers she had a big one i had a small two small ones <laughs> And fries only had two burgers so we stop for let's say half an hour 20 minutes there to eat and we'll stop for um, for going to the washroom another 10 minutes so let's say half an hour off but look at that six hours 59 minutes 15 seconds so let's take half an hour then we were on our feet and walking because we walked in Hawkeye in Montreal around about so more than six hours marching walking walking pace sometimes fast pace but around about just walked, 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 walked. So, plus with my workout, that's a hell of a personal record. We're both sore, both feel it. But anyways, proud of this uh, hard workout and getting these boots, which I paid for, ten dollars and seventy-five cents. And I'm gonna put the best shoelaces that I ever had on them. The rainbow shoelaces. So, 
gonna see hopefully they'll they're still though hopefully they're they'll be good enough for me to walk quite a distance it was strange they said made in canada and on one says made in the usa so, so which one is it is it the bottom that's made in the usa and canada that's where i guess we're one north american civilization and we're one continent the american continent and we are indeed one world one sun and with the stars on earth under the moon one sun one sun which the goddess dances with her brother the sun to make rain and produce all fruits vegetables and legumes that is the dictum and modern philosophy of the dancing goddess emperor which is one with the dragon emperor which you can see the red dragon flag and the woman with the sun and yours truly so back to the workout general war integrated total body training system again i don't know for sure what caused covid i believe snakes that i don't know what i do know is a fourth dimension for sure 93 days before covid after not analyzing the geopolitical situation combining with historical events what has transpired up to the moment in time said so we are on a path to world war three well, here i am and it's from of september world peace advocate calling for world peace marching for world peace alone stressed precarious work depressed suicidal i crossed the great desert suffering pain loneliness etc etc you know working out training exercising has worked scientific miracles for yours truly since many years having embarked on my fitness journey more than two I called and advocated for mass financing of my brothers and sisters to work out, train, exercise, and the Dragon Army in the public to encourage people to work out, train, exercise. The Dragon Army in the public domain of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire. After secure food, housing, and transport, have the Dragon units in their parameters X, Y, Z to secure and food, housing, and transport, highways, railways, waterways, sports, of course, in the air. And make sure food, housing, and transport, the citizens, allies, and subjects of the empire have it secured. Preferably three meals a day, minimum one meal a day, right? I'll secure freedom. And then the extra, the hygiene, the clothes, right? I don't mind switching and trading my clothes, trading shoes, whatever. You know? Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire. Mother of the Dancing Goddess, all fruits, vegetables, and legumes are made, created, and produced by the dance of the goddess with her brother the sun. The same dance that made those fruits, vegetables, legumes, like this bread with raisins. Back in ancient Egypt, to feed and that were harvested by our brothers and sisters back. Our ancestors in ancient Egypt, as that story of Jacob who became Israel goes in Genesis. Which is mystical and allegorical and it's not literal, not literal, not literal. From ancient Egypt, the dance of the goddess with her brother the sun made and created and produced wheat, grapes, to feed the workers and harvested by our brothers and sisters back then to feed the workers which built the pyramids as they were in the ancient Roman Empire. Or the ancient Chinese civilization for that matter too. That same dance created made and produced the food that the brothers and sisters in Asia harvested for them to build the Great Wall of China. And that were harvested and that is harvested today, July 2021, for us to build skyscrapers in Hawk Island, Montreal, in New York, in Beijing, in Berlin, in Tel Aviv. And this food was made and created and produced by the dance of the goddess who her brother the sun. That dance has been for thousands of years. Our brothers and sisters harvested for me and made this bread for your stool. And I'm grateful, Adrian Hanna, Dragon Reborn, born Adrian H. Dragon, for me to eat it. I can clean my room, put a set it up for the Sabbath, write poetry, dance, meditate, learn, love, do, offer, think, create, write. Mm. Bread with raisin, so good with coffee. It's simple. Sometimes simple things are good too.
So back in 2019, October 17, you were still leader in each dragon. Becoming dragon zero with every push-up, squat, hawk, marching, stepping, steel toe boots. Every sip of coffee, sunlight that hits my body, moonlight that I gaze upon, starlight that I see. Created this new workout, General War Integrated Total Body Training System, aka the 300 workout. To go hand in hand with a scenario, a World War III scenario, which resembles the COVID 19 health and financial crisis. In my scenario, started with a stock market crash, called in the scenario, and the timeline of the scenario is ongoing in the timeline because in, initially I set up to do 300 sessions. I finished 200 today, the 200th session today. I posted it's already posted. And it's ongoing until I reach 300 sessions. So 100 more to go. Two thirds down. down. Two thirds. Two thirds down, done. And I think, as I said, after 300 sessions, I will reach a plateau of potential muscular development. The max, the peak, by that workout, and then we'll have to increase and do because I still, I still feel it, still felt it. Today when I do it, after half, after 50 push-ups, 50 squats, 50, 60, you feel it because you need to do 100 for each. The rules of the general war integrated total body training system, aka the 300, are simple. These are the rules. You got 93 minutes to do 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 hocks. Maximum 13 repetitions per set, minimum 3. You can do 15, but to mark down to get to 100, the count is maximum 13 and minimum 3. Those two numbers go together, 13 and 3. And there's a minimum requirement of 31, 31, 31 seconds. Marching, jogging, walking fast, space in between each set. So once you start the 93 minutes, one hour and a half plus three minutes, 93 minutes countdown on the clock, you start marching, jogging, walking fast, space. There's no pause, there's no stop. You gotta complete 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 hocks. Once you start the 93 minutes. 13 max per set. Three minimum, 31 seconds minimum marching in between. Marching, jogging, walking fast pace. This is for a design to go hand in hand with a scenario and designed to mobilize citizenry to be integrated and trained fast for a new global security force, integrated citizenry in an emergency in a World War III scenario to mobilize, of which I'm calling since July 24, 2020, because in my scenario there was the solution was mobilizing 1% of NATO allies, country citizenry, and integrating NATO into one force, one global force. A new security force to secure those three elements, food, housing, and transport, right? And patrol march in the streets, etc., etc., etc. A security force with an integrated citizen force. That's why integrated citizen, to integrate the citizenry, a percentage of the adult population, 1% in the security force, 1%. Once those three elements are secured, you can encourage people to work out, volunteer, train, do hygiene, also those. But those three fundamentals for securing civilization and securing freedom. Because people have the freedom to do it when in private, housing, food, transport is secure. Transport, of course, I'm not asking uh, for transport for citizens to be all everybody was to be flown into outer space here to the International Space Station, right? The transport, etc., by whatever means, by walking, by train, by subway, metro system, by car, etc., bus, right, public transport, and all. right. So that is the paradox. In my scenario, World War Three starts with a what's what's called in the scenario Black Halloween crash, a stock market crash, which. So the first session in real time was October 17th. Today was July 9th. It was the 200th session, 2021. So October 2019, October 17, 2019 was the first session that I've done of the General War Integrated Body Training System. And the scenario was a not so distant future beginning October 31st in the timeline of the scenario. Just understand a bit. So then the timeline of the scenario. And in the timeline of the scenario, stock market crash begins October 31st. Right. And 
A week later, there's a global financial collapse. And a lot of countries, including, of course, China, North Korea, and their allies and others, blame the U.S., the Trump administration specifically, and generally the U.S. with the Trump administration, is the U.S.-China trade war, the Trump administration imposing tariffs more than 10, 15, 20, 25% on more than 650 billion worth of Chinese, of goods, imported goods from China, the US-China trade war began by the Trump administration. And they blame it on the Trump administration trade war, beginning the trade war with China. They blame the stock market crash and subsequently the global financial collapse. China being the world's factory since 1984, China of course rose to become the factory of the world, the biggest exporter in the world. So imposing tariffs on the biggest exporter can destabilize the global financial system and U.S. by de facto being the biggest importer, consumer market and the biggest producer and exporter imposing tariffs. There's the destabilization of the global financial commercial economic system which took place right since 1984 China rose to overtook the Soviet Union after 89 right and then fast forward 96 and then 2007 with the crash it rose tremendously. Right, so the trade war which Trump began in 2018, 2018, the imposition of tariffs about March, if I'm not mistaken, with several incremental steps. So that was the scenario based on real events, a stock market crash in the scenario. And then subsequently, after the stock market crash, the global financial collapse, about November 17th, in the timeline of the scenario, of par parallel to me performing the workouts, there was a surprise attack by China and North Korea in the scenario, in the fictitious scenario, mind you. And keep in mind before I go any further that, of course, the um, I am still hoping, 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 and still calling, advocating, urging people to re-establish cordial, mutually beneficial and friendly relations. Can Sino Canadian, Sino American, Sino North American, and Sino Western relations, meaning re-establishing cordial, friendly, and mutually beneficial relations with China. I'm not going to go into the other debates. What are, what's happening now? It's not for the moment. I'm just discussing my initiative, my projects, my experiences, and the paradox of the birth of the Dragon Army of which yours truly Dragon Zero is the general founding captain thereof for world peace, international justice and security and global freedom with universal love. The paradox of it. Before I go any further, since today I have broken personal fitness records, I'm going to treat myself to a little honey, put in my coffee. I do not want to waste that. So there was a few drops on the side. I won't waste no honey, 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 bunny. I want to see something interesting. So this is a blend of Greek and Bulgarian honey. The other day I had honey was from like seven countries, Vietnam, Hungary, was it Spain, Brazil, Uruguay, Romania? It was like seven countries <laughs> in the in the jar. This is Greek and Bulgarian honey. So, but interestingly enough, just as a as a thought of how the international commercial system is placed and how, of course, the company blends the honeys from different countries. So, again, on COVID, I don't know for sure. What caused COVID, I believe, with snakes. I don't know for sure. What I do know, fourth dimension, is that before COVID 93 days, alarmed world peace advocate, what was alarmed by what was transpiring in the world, created this workout training program to go hand in hand with the World War III scenario. As a student scholar of civilizations, wars, geopolitics, history, as an independent security analyst and theorist, as a world peace advocate, and now before you're standing drinking this coffee after. Today, breaking personal fitness record doing the 200 session of the general war integrated whole body training system, which I performed today, hand in, made hand in, made to go hand in hand with the World War III scenario, which resembles the COVID 19 health and financial crises. And see the paradox and the resemblance in the my scenario there was a stock market crash called Black Halloween crash, 
um, subsequent global financial collapse and in the due to covid the stock market crash began february 20th and lasted about from february 20th till april 7th at least that's what i've read and that's the wikipedia articles other online articles which stock market crash february 20th there's a steep stock market crash drop until then until april 7th which triggered recessions and in some places depressions of economic financial commercial depressions worldwide it's the worst financial commercial economic recessions and in some places depression the worst economic financial commercial crisis since since since, since the great depression so for more than 70 years seven zero years tremendous it's the worst economic financial the crisis in in 70 70 years right triggering depressions in some areas recessions in others february 20th check it out if you believe the dates right with dates mine was october 31st in the scenario the fictitious scenario which created to go hand in hand with the world workout was october 31st halloween so it's called black halloween and of course in february was 20th which financial experts commercial entrepreneurs and economic thinkers and analysts dated the coronavirus stock market crash it's called you can google it and check the wikipedia articles which are pretty accurate some of them you got to discern of course you know but february 20th to april 7th now me personally covid i got three negative tests and i got my vaccine on may 30th and i rebooked it last night to schedule it faster so i'm going in july in two weeks on july 23rd i'm gonna get my second jab on the pfizer vaccine but i think although i got three negative things i think i had covid because i was sick disease illness it was like death pestilence and disease disease pestilence and death death pestilence and disease and the january 2020 about two last two days of january 2020 until about february 20 it's very sick disease i thought i was gonna die in many ways adrian h dragon born here for did die so I'm being reborn with every sunlight sunrise sunset every marching step push-up squat hawk poem that i write dance move that i make coffee that i drink every word every video that i record everything that i do i'm being reborn adrian hana dragon you're still androgynous pansexual yes i'm a rainbow dragon i'm being reborn as adrian hana dragon androgynous Ancestral founder of the dancing goddess and the dragon emperor, which are one emperor under the stars on the moon, under the sun on earth, for world peace, international justice, and security, global freedom, and universal love. I have Phoenix People's Party, the anti war, anti racism, anti poverty, pro love, universal, revolutionary, centrist party. And now to universal, revolutionary centrism. As embodied in the dancing goddess and the dragon empire and the phoenix people's body universal what does three, these three words mean universal it's global international worldwide okay. universal hearts revolutionary revolutionary well small hands tiny feet tiny small hands yeah. The only thing I got big is perhaps this big mouth, right? Perhaps. Yes, the only thing I got big is this big mouth. Revolutionary. Meaning something new, something new is politically, socially, spiritually, culturally, XYZ. Right? Introduction of a new order, a new way of living doing things politically socially financially etc 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 revolutionary centrism 
universal revolutionary centrism. There you go. Can that be? Or he can. And that's me. Hadron Anna Dragon. Androgynous pansexual founder of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire. His mission is to secure freedom and attain harmony between civilization and nature. Because com complementary covenant cooperative institution to the Dragon Army, officially called International Citizen Integrated Social Security Force, will be the International Integrated Dance League, aka the Dancing Goddess Army, which will organize mass dancing events at all levels and integrated will be on all gender. All ages, all sexual orientation, cooperative instead of compet competitive dance league for first cooperative dance league instead of competitive dance league, cooperative instead of competitive. Of course, we can have professional dancers and organized dancers and and choreography and every everything, but fundamentally cooperative and integrated. To organize mass dancing events for the fundraising of the mass cleaning of the oceans, rivers, waterways, lakes, forests, valleys, etc. Basically, generally the mission of the Dancing Goddess Army will be to attain harmony, 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 equilibrium balance between civilization and with nature and mass finance, solar power, hydroelectric power, wind power, and clean the oceans, rivers, waterways, lakes, etc. Make together your story with the priestess or the goddess that dances with her brother, the sun, to make rhythm, produce all fruits, vegetables, and legumes, to make dance the most powerful weapon on planet Earth, Mother Nature, who is the greatest artist, from whom comes my inspiration, love, and passion. The goddess, forgotten but returned, who dances with her brother, the sun. Creating those two institutions via the Phoenix People's Party by my theory put into practice called debt refusion, taking all ALL existing public and private debt. My private is 10,000. That's let's say I'm X1, that's 10,000. You're X2, you're X3, and there's hundreds of millions of X's. So taking that number, the private debt, and the public is the city, the country, United States, Canada, Israel, Germany. Taking that number, putting it together, taking the whole X's, hundreds of millions of X's, plus let's say 156 countries, and together, refusing it, not cancelling it, annulling the debt, refusing it to create a global central bank and the global central universal currency, preferably digital. By the hand and the eye and the voice are unique biometrics. And to create, fuse the two institutions, complementary covenant cooperative institutions. Of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Army. International Citizen Integrated Social Security Force, aka the Dragon Army, in parallel with the Complementary Covenant Cooperative Institution of the International Integrated Dance League, aka the Dancing Goddess Army. Dragon Army to secure food, housing, and transport for all citizens, subjects, allies, supporters of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire, all citizens. Our public private partnership. And organizing mass dancing events for the cleaning of the oceans, rivers, waterways, lakes, forests, valleys, mountains, etc. And mass finance, solar, hydro, and electric power. So, Dance League, the cooperative purpose, environmental harmony, or rather, attaining harmony between civilization and nature, encouraging all ecological practices across all levels of society, and mass financing also. Universal revolutionary centrism, calling on all willingly loving, join and support the mission, vision, and philosophy thereof. Universal, global, international, worldwide, revolutionary to introduce the two new institutions, Dancing Goddess Army and the Dragon Army, to secure the three aforementioned food, housing, and transport for all by this public private partnership, and of course, to in harmony between civilization and nature. The 20th century was pretty much dominated with the ideologies 
in many ways also revolutionary right? ideologies of it, the extreme right is embodied in the fascism, ultranationalism, and the extreme left is embodied in the communism, socialism. Twenty first century we have to be the synergy, the balance, the harmony in the center, taking into account yes, universalism and internationalism, globalism. We don't need our ultra nationalism, chauvinism, and a rainbow dragon, a rainbow flag, right? I have a collection of flags. I have the United States flag here. I have the Canadian, the Canadian there, the United Nations. What are flags? But that is the flag of the Dragon Empire. It was one with the dancing goddess, Emperor and the Dragon Empire, and one with the goddess that dances with her bird of the sun and the red dragon. This is not really the flag, right? Come to it. It's how we treat each other, how we love each other. Right? I'm sure, it's the LGBTQ. Rainbow. It's my flag. It took me 13.3 years. Suicidal, depressed, couldn't admit it. I was bisexual, I had urges and lusts. You're bisexual. And hiding. Things we lust, things we. In the dark, right? Whatever night, right? And we lost our hearts. What things we did. I had many homosexual relations. Not that many, but I, I'm bisexual, pansexual, androgynous. A man and woman, I'm both gen androgynous, gender fluid, gender non-binary I prefer androgynous but androgynous pansexual sexually attracted to doesn't matter gender identification race or sexual orientation that's what pansexual is pan all encompassing sexuality quick consent mutual understanding right. I love receiving pleasure and giving pleasure Covid, I'm not much, I'm kind of lacking. <laughs> so I'm on the self it, but nonetheless, it took me 13.3 years to come out. Only seven years ago, yeah, I'm done. I'm coming out. That's it. I'm out of the closet. I'm bisexual, I'm androgynous, and made an honor drag. I'm major and I'm man, and I'm Hana, 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 Hana. H A N H C D R A N D R A G A O. Turning that A into an O. Blood, sweat, and tears. Nobody is born a dragon. You become one. Not even myself with a surname D R A G A N. Dragon. I'm not a dragon because I got a surname dragon. Because I suffered, struggled, thousands of push-ups, hawk squats, marching steel toe boots, and willingly living to become a dragon. That is the motto of the dragon army. Nobody is born a dragon, you become one. Blast with tears, willingly loving. Drop down and give me push ups. That's my message to the leaders of the free world. And do it with love and for the sake of world peace. Nobody is born a dragon, become one. It has a fundamental essence to it. My inheritance. Mama, daddy left me mansions. No. I'm on my own for many, many, many years. Many, many, many years in the streets, Hawk Island, Montreal, Metropolis Island. Spent years struggling with chronic illness, disease, loneliness, precarious employment. Struggle, 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 suffered. The libraries of this Hawk Island, Montreal became my second home. Books, my friends read, read thousands of books. So struggling with the chronic illness, with depression, with being suicidal, with being addictions. What um loneliness, 
precarious employment, financial struggle. The streets and the books, the books and the streets, the libraries and an underground place. Well, here I'm in an underground room of some temple as well. But Seven years ago, I came out, participated in a few pride parades. This year, it was in July, August, that the Montreal Pride Parade in Montreal takes place. And due to COVID, of course, last year there wasn't any. Maybe this year we'll have something going on. We'll see. I would have loved to be there. At, I saw the prides in Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, and Tel Aviv in Israel. Of course, in Israel, in Israel there. I could have been there and in other places in the tribe, but of course the LGBTQ community, my fellow LGBTQ nation, was still struggling across the world. It's still not for, for X, Y, Z reasons. People are not out financial, etc., etc., etc. People have their own reasons, which in many ways do understand fear, prejudice, you know, violence against the LGBTQ community. Financial, right? Sometimes if I come out, I'll lose my job. What am I going to do? Not gonna be able to feed myself. I'm gonna starve. What? Keep it hidden, right? So securing food, housing, and transport for all is public-private partnership. We'll secure that, and of course. Rights, rights. DNA. Encourage volunteering, community work, etc., etc., etc. We can get dirty, but we gotta get back clean. Cause staying dirty get microbes, germs, bacteria, it's disease. You know, gotta be healthy. Working out, training, exercising has been and is therapy for yours truly. I believe it is for many. I've been calling on the our brothers and sisters as athletes. The NFL, National Football League, NHL, National Hockey League, NBA, National Basketball Association, MLB, European Soccer since 1984. Our society, civilizations, Western has rewarded these athletes to play with a ball, throw a puck, stick, catch a ball. The average salary in the NHL is what 6.6 .6 million. In the NFL is some million, NBA some million, some make 10 million, others 1 million, another 5, another 7, another 3, and so on. But thousands and tens of thousands across these leagues. And men, 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 patriarchal sports leagues, I gotta say. So I gotta call my priestesses and dancers to call upon those sports leagues to donate, ordering, 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 ordering. Now less than half their financial proceedings. We're advancing guys army to clean nature mass finance cleaning of the oceans rivers waterways lakes forests mass finance solar and hydropower we made multi-millionaires playing a game right? our civilization enabled it we have economic financial growing disparities there's a dancing artist and the dragon army will bring some equilibrium balance and harmony is by securing those three elements minimum right food housing and transport public private partnership right and encourage people to work out volunteer train exercise i've been disillusioned going to different organizations and theory and years and blah 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 offer you push-ups squats hawks theory i can do offer but to my allies and armies here i founded the bank of love world bank of love somebody called the other day a few weeks ago i say hi oh, who's this no oh, this and that what are you looking for i said well i don't know and this is a random number i'm just doing a survey I said, but do you know i asked the person on the other end of the line do you know who you called? I said no. You called the World Bank of Love. <laughs> World Bank of Love. I called an institution. He said. I said the World Bank of Love. Are you looking for love? And he said no. I said well, if you're not looking for love, I I don't think we have much in common because I'm looking for love. I'm looking for love. I admit it. I want to fucking be fucking love hard, man. Love me hard, tough hard, sometimes smooth, 
How do you want me to love you if you're my ally and army? Washy, washy, kissy, kissy. Let's go get dirty, but we gotta get back clean. Soap, 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 water. <laughs> Finance world peace, that's what's written on it. Tax the banks, that's what's written on it. And to get a win win, that's what's written on it. And the fourth law. And should be love on each. And this there on the side is it says love. So you got ten words. Eleven. What's the eleventh word? I don't know what that says. No idea. Chocolate or something. I don't know. Man, I don't know. Whatever. Eleven words. Together we win, tax the banks, finance world peace, love and the 11th word and be a mystery. Finance world peace, tax the banks, together we win, love. 10 words, but plus the 11th, a mystery. Gonna go back, get some more coffee. Count to three seconds. So that person who was for a survey said, well, you know who you called? You called the World Bank of Love. Because the person didn't know who called. Called me Adrian H. Born, becoming Adrian Hana Dragon. We're conducting a survey, random numbers. I told him that they also called the World Bank of Love. But they were not looking for love, so I kind of ended the conversation because you call upon me and you see you're not looking for love. I mean, you can look for other things, me too. Good food, steel toe boots, a good massage from time to time. I can't afford it financially. Drop in some rapping in the studio, but you know that dragon raps, yeah, click like if you made it this far, yep, without a heart attack, lift my lips and lips, yeah, I don't want to get nasty, but I get dirty, but get back clean, yep, roll my head up, yeah, she rolls that eyes up, yep, they walking like that slut prop, yep, no slut shaming, yeah, that's patriarchal BS, get on me, no, I don't deal with the commies, yep, I don't deal with no fascists, yeah, I'm in the middle center, grab my supply in the center, please split it up, let me see you twerk it up, yeah, I love when you twerk, I don't give a fuck, I say, well, freedom is a bird. Get dirty, but get clean. Because we royal and lofty. We dirty, go telemites. Yep, we don't aristocratic. Yeah, aristocratic. I say, aristocratic. Yeah, say what? Keep my holy secret name, Adrian, huh? Not dragging out of your mouth. It's not for blessing. Yep, hope you understand me. Yep, that's understood clearly. Clearly, clearly. You say, sh probably, sh poetry. Yeah, poetry be a ha. Huh? What a ha ha la la la. A little rap. Most an underground rapper since 1996, in case you didn't know. Now you know another secret about me. Most important thing, besides my friend, teacher, and sister, to that trinity of sister, friend, teacher, is fourth dimension of being a <laughs> universal, a my one and only financial sponsor for now, is that I do not owe nobody nothing. I, born Adrian H, dragon being born Adrian, huh, not dragon. Do not owe you or anybody else nothing. There's many incarnations, space, uh, karma, etc., etc. Since I don't owe nobody nothing, that state of pledge your allegiance and I'll give you love, brotherhood, sisterhood. The dancing goddess and the dragon army, the Hunt of dragon phoenix people's party, and I'll bless you in my name to be able to do millions of push-ups, hawks, millions of dancing moves, millions of steps, joys, loves, harmony, wisdom, chest protection, joy, health in my name, Adrian Hunt of dragon. Keep my holy sacred name out of your mouth. 
if it's not to bless it. God, Goddess, Omen, you have been warned politely. So they weren't looking for love. What can I do for you? What? You're not looking for love? If you're hungry, if I have a little piece, I'll feed you. I did charity. I believe in charity. I believe in so many things. I have a million trillion zillion questions to the power of 93 divided by 77. I don't know all the answers. In a parallel life, science, innovation, technology would have been a chosen path and career. Diverged. But I do know that this was made, created, and produced by the dance of the goddess with her brother, the son, and harvested by one of my brothers and sisters, farmers. Just like I don't know COVID, what caused COVID, I believe it was snakes, that since I don't know for sure and my belief is not confirmed 100%. Can I rule out another possibility? X, Y, Z. But what I do know without a doubt, for that mention to that trinity, is that created this workout before COVID to go hand in hand with a scenario that resembles COVID 19 health and financial crisis. Paradoxically, is a world peace advocate, independent student, scholar of history, wars, geopolitics, and civilizations, an independent security analyst and theorist. I was saying in my heart back in October 2091, the path of World War III. So created a World War III scenario based on those events, the U.S.-China trade war as the Meng Wanzhou by RCMP to honor an extradition treaty with our brothers and sisters down south of the USA, and historical events such as Pearl Harbor. And created this scenario. Stock market crash, global financial collapse, surprise attack by North Korea and China on the North American West Coast. And paradoxically, I have been since then and before am and will call for the reestablishment of cordial mutually beneficial and friendly relations with China sino Canadian sino North American sino American sino Western relations cordial friendly mutually beneficial perhaps it's too late with recent escalations a 37 page almost 38 I think almost 38 perhaps almost 38 Pages from the UK, I haven't read it all, I can pronounce myself on it fully, I will, perhaps in the future, maybe tomorrow after, or perhaps never. But I do know, created that scenario, and since COVID, since July 24, 2020, because of that event and that scenario resembling COVID, that's what I began advocating calling and have founded the Dragon and the Dancing Goddess Empire, the Dragon Army. Which yours will is the general founding captain becoming dragon zero nobody is born a dragon you become one you don't have to be a peacekeeping dragon and you don't have to be a member of the dragon army or willingly loving citizens to become a member of the dragon army must be able to do the general war into it or body training system aka the 300 within the rules you got 93 minutes to do 100 push-ups 100 squats 100 hawks you got to march, jog, walk, fast, pace, minimum of 31 seconds in between. Those three, two numbers keep together, 13 maximum and 3, 13 and 3, they go together. 93, those four numbers, 93, 13 and 3, which they go together, and 31 are the four main numbers for you to revolve to remember the rules of the general war integrator body training system. 93 minutes, you got to do 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 hawks. That trinity as the fourth dimension of integrating the cardio you gotta march jog walk fast pace or run 31 seconds in between each set whether you do 13 max until you get to 100 for each or three minimum or you play it in between do 10 as i'm be doing 10 repetitions per set 10 times 10 is easy count to get to 100 10 times 10 is 100 and 31 seconds minimum marching jogging walking in between there's no pause once you start 93 minutes tack and count down to get to 100 squats, 100 push ups, 100 hawks, 13 maximum, 3 minimum, 31 seconds minimum, marching, jogging, walking, fast pace. All willingly loving citizens to be a member of the Dragon Army must 
be able to do this is the examination and this applies to all existing NATO North Atlantic Twitter organization members countries armies private and public security forces whether you can are a cadet beginning today started today to be a member of the German armed forces or the armed forces anyway NATO those 30 members which the 31st I'm calling for Israel to be perhaps by tonight midnight Israel will be a dear fast with the 31st North Atlantic to the organization and the nations where your cadet just began today maybe first day in the say, German army July 9th or your general started in 1963 in the German army or the US army or the Canadian army a general lieutenant high-ranking stars or just started today as fresh you general or Soldier, you also must be able to do the general war integrate all body training system within the rules. Apply to you, otherwise, you are as dismissed. All ALL orders given by yours truly, Dragon Zero, must be obeyed. No order will be given but to secure food, housing, and transport for all. Ensure that in the public domain of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire, hygienic protocols are ensured. Washing their hands inside public and private. At you can get dirty, but get back clean. Encourage people to exercise. If those willingly citizen subjects, and of course allies are willing, and they require their will for them to distance themselves from the fellow citizens and fellow allies and fellow subjects, they have the right to distance themselves to two meters. They have the right of to wear, of course, the mask. We all wear masks anyways, and besides, <laughs> you don't want to see my face way too much, or <laughs> wear a mask anyways, right in zero, right? So those are the rules. Effective, efficient, simple rules. And of course, ensure the hygienic after secure food, housing, and transport for all. A public private partnership creating a global central bank. Universal revolutionary centers. 20th century has seen two major ideologies embodied in the extreme left communism, socialism, which of course fascism, communism, maybe they're slow and into the bargain, right there. Become authoritarian, but with a different. Uh, in different ways but nonetheless the 20th century had seen extreme left extreme right ideologies as embodied in communism socialism fascism with the derivatives the peculiarities of the different countries or cultures which were they tried i would say that for the western civilization let's say embodiment of communism was the soviet union ussr united socialist soviet republics and epitome of communism, socialism, and Nazi Germany is the epitome of the fascism and fascist, fascist experiments. Fascism, extreme right wing, kind of um, re very reactionary, right? Communism, socialist saying revolutionary, 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 right? And these two ideologies in the 20th century. Ferocious fascism, right? Nazis, they couldn't, couldn't tolerate, they said, Aryans. Blah, blah, blah. Ultranationalism. I believe in one human race. I'm calling on all my brothers and sisters across the world on this earth, under the sun, which we share. We must secure freedom. Securing freedom by this elements of civilization, after food, necessities, right? Food, housing, and transport. Fascism, ferocious fascism, cackling communism.
both dishonest into the bargain. That was authoritarianism and slogans and totalitarian and authoritarian. In the name of freedom and justice and whatever. A sword of freedom is a hard sword to lift. My small tiny hands, tiny feet, tiny tiny hands can lift it. Perhaps my friend teacher at times, one I love and call sister. So so Sister, friend, teacher, fourth dimension of being my one and only financial sponsor can lift it, perhaps. Her help, your help, together the sword of freedom. It's seven words, I mean seven letters, F R E D O M. I tattooed there. This guy in New York who tattooed me this when he heard that I wanted, he said, I don't got time for you today. It was busy. But he asked, well, just ask, what would, I'm curious, what did you want? Because I wanted to know the price, and he said, I said, I want the word freedom. He stopped when I said what I wanted. I wanted the seven letter words, freedom, seven letter word, freedom. He stopped. He said something to the other person. He said to me, I'll do it because it's freedom. Otherwise, he didn't have time for me when I was in New York visiting. We had a tattoo here. It was a bomb. It said 9-11 and he said, send back the sender on his bicep. A whole bicep a bomb and 9-11 sent back to sender wow it's like whoa Tommy lost a colleague friend and didn't want to talk much about it he said I lost somebody close I didn't want to talk much about who he lost and kind of avoided so I didn't insist you know I felt uh, better not to insist I get the vibe he lost somebody who he loved he cared about he had a history what he knew and that's it on the 3000 right? if I ask nobody who remembers I have so many things I don't remember in my childhood in my adolescence in my events you know I remember sometimes I forget I did wrong I did mistakes many people I hurt verbally physically perhaps financially I apologize 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 in advance no but I don't know about you nothing what I want to do my brothers and sisters Canadian American German Israeli Arab, African, Asian, together. Who remembers the planes? I do. Plane 11, plane 77, plane 93, plane 175. Plane 93 crashed in Pennsylvania. There was a The attackers were uh, by the passengers. Plane 77 crashed into the Pentagon. Plane 11 and 175 crashed in the north and south towers of the World Trade Center. In fact, check double fact. I'm not sure which if the 175 crashed into the north or the south tower and the 11th into the south or the north that i'm not sure of the others i'm pretty sure of. and in the west north america canada u.s since 2000 2007 2010 financial great financial crisis not as great as this one to the COVID, but nonetheless great, which I've suffered. My work hours were cut three times, went from winning overtime. Back then, I was financially okay. I was investing regularly. I had investments for a few years. I was investing on a weekly basis. I wanted to go to university, a bright future. My work hours were cut three times, from more than 40 hours a week to 35, then from 35 to 30, then from 30 to like 25. I got into depression, ill, whatever. It's, it's, some say we were still recovering from that before the COVID-19 health and financial crisis. And many had a lot of many jobs in like that. Right? Back then.
20th century saw First World War, Second World War. Second World War mainly, of course, communism facing fascism, right? but not only because, of course, United States, a democracy, although not with equal and freedom rights for all, let's say. And I've lectured before the paradox of the American Empire and then willing empire. You can check it on Coffee with Dragon. My theory, of course, that the United States of America was, of course, not a superpower militarily, economic, financially. Until the paradoxically was attacked, Pearl Harbor. It wasn't in the war, it was isolationism. Isolationism was the practice of looking more inward without too much involvement in the external or foreign affairs, whether financially, mil militarily, diplomatic. The isolationist policies usually is a country when they're, they're close mostly, not all completely. It depends on, it can be a complete closure isolationism and isolated. Okay, but the United States, they had diplomatic relations and XYZ, other commercial relations, other relations, but mostly it was internally domestic because of the Great Depression, but which has spilled over the world and whatever, all those issues. But mainly it was more isolationist policies than you know, expansionistic and other such things. There were periods, I'm not going to go into the details, but mainly that was before Pearl Harbor. Before Pearl Harbor. Before Pearl Harbor. Now, with America Empire, etc., etc., debates when it started when Kennedy got assassinated, etc., and the march towards when America as a superpower and the sole superpower after the Soviet Union fell. Dissoluted after 89, the revolutions of 89, when most communist experiments started falling in Eastern Europe, right? What a 20th century was was mostly a battle between these two extreme ideologies of extreme left and extreme right. Communism and fascism. Major Nation Dragon is neither a fascist, it's neither a communist. I'm not a dictator. In a general war integral body training system, it has rules, discipline, but you can play around with it. Two different numbers, different rules, right? But sometimes we gotta have the the discipline where I have rules for a new world order of peace. World peace, international justice and freedom, global security, universal love, right? But mainly the 20th century is these two extreme ideologies and different all over the world. And they're different derivatives and as a political social philosophy. Fascism, extreme right, usually ultra nationalistic, chauvinistic, right, racist, right, anti Semitic, as in, of course, Germany, Nazi Germany, right. Who read uh, the book there? Mein Kampf. Can you imagine the hate, the anti Semitism? I experienced anti Semitism myself, Star David, Tattoo. Your grandparents were Holocaust survivors. Yeah. A world citizen, multi ethnic. But first and foremost, I'm becoming Dragon Zero, Adrian Hanna, Dragon Reborn. Androgynous pansexual, founder of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Empire, the Phoenix People's Party. A lover, blesser, supporter to all my allies and armies, locally, nationally, internationally. Having for world peace, international justice, and security, and global freedom and universal love. Those ideologies in the 20th century created different experiments, different nation states arose from sour socialist communist experiments, which occurred during the 20th century, embodied in the Soviet Union, mainly the, the model for socialism, communist, communism, the USSR, right? Established by revolution, October Revolution, 1917, and subsequently after World War, after Civil War, and Second World War, Nazi Germany, an epitome of fascism, a fascist state, totalitarian fascist state, racist, activistic, fascist state, Nazi Germany. Every year, there's movies about 
Nazi Germany is Hitler. I don't usually watch when I don't like watch too much about Nazis. Although I read actually one of my good friends, which I'm going to hold anonymous. He gave me once to read the book, and he's, he's Jewish himself, so kind of be said it's just so we know, you know, what the Jewish people went through and the Holocaust, and you know, he, there's not a lot of people which I know that have a surname in their family, you know, because you got your father's surname that you use, or you got your mother's surname that you use, and your grandparents' surname and surname. You know, we're all different ethnicities. This surname is Dragon, it's, it's uh, becoming Dragon. But I got another surname in, in my family. And so there, I checked it out, as my grandmother said when I was a kid. This and that in Yiddish, etc., etc., some words. Check it out, man. It's hundreds buried a surname. It was Holocaust victims and uh, and survivors. The surname is Ney, N E U. German Ashkenazi surname N E U, Ney, stands for news. So I got that in my family. Nobody's born a dragon. Dragon is from my father's um, side, although I never really knew my father much. I grew up alone pretty much. Mother did the best. That's all I have. I have a sister in the past years, and a friend teacher. It's my only family, really. Everybody willingly loving to be my family. You know, I grew up pretty much alone on my own, own solo, solo in the past years. Friend, teacher, sister, which I love a lot. So, so, besides being a teacher, friend, and sister, is also my one and only financial sponsor. <laughs> Anyways, it is what it is. Fascism. By Nazi Germany and others in Italy right, and other places across the world, which emulated either fascism, communism, but it has been mainly dominant extreme right, extreme left experiments, nations, establishment of states with this social political ideologies, fascism, which mainly embodies ultra nationalism, racism, ultra conservatism, reactionarism, and well, extreme right chauvinism, patriarchic, right, well, extreme left. So communism, although communism is one good thing, what you say about communism, socialism, mostly when it was writings, was that it's international universal, which I am universal for one human race. You know, some things that come out of communism, socialism are good. Welfare, I got my July check. I was couldn't be able to pay rent and survive. Right? The welfare it comes from those socialistic, more thinking, not extreme, but it comes from those... Um, those values, those that philosophy in many ways, right? Welfare to help others when they need it, and you know, stuff like that. Workers' rights and uh, living wages, minimum wages, which are um, support, of course. But I'm a centrist, universal revolutionary centrist. So I've seen since 2007, especially millennials like myself, diverge to extreme and left, communism, social, extreme right. Racism, fascism, ultranationalism, white nationalism, white supremacy, all that. Extreme left. You know. 21st century. It's to be universal revolutionary century. I'm gonna make a public private partnership secure freedom whereby having for all citizens, allies, subjects, supporters, some fundamentals of civilization secured. Food, housing for those women. I mean, somebody wants to just say whatever. Right. Universal revolutionary centers. Love is action. So many times, 
and organizations propose this and that, blah blah blah, disillusioned. I'm offering. I founded the World Bank of Love of the Dancing Goddess, the Dragon Empire, and the Phoenix People's Party. World Bank of the Phoenix Dragon and Goddess. World Bank of Love. And love is action. Trillions of kisses. From the priestess and a goddess that dances with her brother the sun. And the massages, hugs from the dragon's euro. Bless you with push ups, hog squats. Do, to do, to do. Love is action. It has to balance spiritual tools and universal spiritual teaching student because I'm learning things every day with spirituality, politics, finance, science, all things under the sun, civilization, and nature. Nature is the greatest artist, Mother Nature, the forgotten goddess that dances with her brother the sun to make great and produce all fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Right. Many organizations been involved, etc. etc. Sure, they all are doing a lot of good, but there's a lot of stagnation, a lot of bureaucracy, of XYZ, of this and that. It's also, we got to do what do you offer? I offer this, this, XYZ. That's good. Everybody has something to offer and no value. Being also just to be is also important. Also doing. It's to be a harmony, a balance, an equilibrium. Purpose and pleasure. Joy. Philosophy. Love is the law. Love on the wheel. I love you.